Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Um, we're gonna jump straight into organizing today. I've had the biggest itch to do this and I have some free time. Basically, I have some cabinets I've already worked on and they look like this. Looks so good. <laughs> and then I have others <laughs> that look like this. So we've got some work to do, so let's go ahead and get started. It's so hard to stay on top of the world. I'm gonna try to share as many tips as I can in this video. Anytime I do an organization, I try to help you guys out. So if you really like today's video, I have tons of other organizational videos on my page. Definitely check it out. But definitely never start like decluttering or organizing if you have a busy day. So maybe if you can tackle like one drawer or something like that, but if you're trying to get like a room done or a whole bathroom or maybe your whole house, you're just wanting to get a ton done at once, make sure you have the time. So my days mainly are like Saturday or Sunday, football's on, after church, stuff like that when I have a good amount of hours in the day to work on it. We're making a progress, but this cabinet always just like stumps me. I never know what to do with it. I think it's all the color too. Like all of my products have so much color and I like to buy extra of stuff so I don't have to go back as often. So I feel like I have extra of everything, but I do go through it. Like I only buy more of it if I know I'm gonna use it. Um, this is like all my nail stuff right here. I did put like my tanners in the back and this was like hair and then skin but I just can't get it to look right. And I think it's because there's so much color. So I'm just trying to figure out what to do before we move on. My daughter came in and realized that I was just like organizing and she was like, you need a declutter. You've had those nail polishes forever. So she helped motivate me. So if you have someone in your house that can help, or maybe if you're having people over, or maybe just watching videos like this will get your rear in gear, but she's definitely helping me on this particular day. I couldn't believe how many nail polishes I had that were just like empty or really like thick, you know, that you like can't use anymore. They're just like dried up. So we were going through all the bottles and if I had like multiple colors, I was trying to choose which one I wanted unless it was like different shades of it, but it definitely cleared out about half of them. Start a cycle, a this is what you've been waiting for. When it all comes and you can just let go, honey, this is Another tip is to go ahead and color code the things you can. Like she did this with my nail polishes because mine had gotten out of control. That way when I'm looking for a pink, I can see all the pinks and I don't run out and buy one that I already have. I just overlooked it. Or maybe I didn't realize I had purple and I had two different shades. So definitely try um, to color code when necessary just because it'll help you or prevent you from spending money. You don't have to if you already have it in there. working on my makeup drawer I don't feel like I have a ton maybe for some people I do but like when I watch youtubers or Instagrammers they have like rooms full of makeup I definitely don't have that I just kind of have the basics I like to try things out so I will have multiple of certain things um, but I had a lot of like lash supplies and I do want to keep a little bit extra just in case um, like the ones I'm wearing now they ship to me and I want to know if there's like a storm or something like that or they don't get to me I still have like original pairs I've already bought that I can use like I hate to just like get rid of those 
and I could have them as backups. So I do like to keep backups when it comes to like makeup or lashes, things I use every single day. Um, I like to buy up on. So like when you were seeing me do my other area, I think I'll show it again later, but I have like two hairsprays and two dry shampoos. I don't really want to run out. So I feel like I always have an extra one behind it. And then when I go to open up the extra one, I know it's time to buy another one. That way I never run out. You don't have to do that if you're like less is more, which I am in most areas, but when it comes to like getting ready, I never want to run out of dry shampoo or something like that. Thank goodness Savannah came in and like got me going. I felt like I was getting guilty of just like organizing what I had and not decluttering, which isn't like me, but this is just an area I struggle in because it's stuff that I'm like, I might use one day. What if I do want to use it? What if like a lot of this stuff I may have like overbought. I've switched my lashes now, so that's, I'm gonna have extra of that. The stuff that's brand new, I'll save and give away. Like my nieces come in, my friends come over. If it's like used stuff like this, I'm gonna throw it away. I've already got some of it going over here. But like I said, if it's like where someone can use it like this. These, everyone swears by this, I'm like, Hero, what is it called? Mighty Patch for your nose strips. Me and Savannah have tried it several times and they don't stay on us. Like, we don't even put moisturizer on. I'm gonna try it one more time tonight. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna go and let those go because I'm just saving them for no reason. Um, but like I said, I've got a lot of like new makeup products in here just so I'm gonna put them in a bin, let my friends, let my nieces go through them first. I always let my nieces go um, and they're gonna be coming into town soon. So this stuff won't be wasted. Um, Look at that, that's so funny. But this over here is looking better. She made me go through my nail polishes, which look good. I'm trying to figure this out. I really need more organizers. Um, so I should have grabbed those, but we're gonna keep powering through. Okay, so I talked about this little handheld vacuum during Prime Day. So I saw a lot of girls using it, or I was just noticing it. I had never got it. I finally broke down. I did go back and I had bought it. So I ordered it, shipped it, and I use it all the time now. So I didn't think I would need a small vacuum because like my vacuum, my cordless vacuum has attachments like this, but I don't realize how many times I won't use it because I don't want to like go take off the stick vacuum and go find the parts for this is just ready to go, especially if you're decluttering and organizing because you can just easily work on the drawers right there. I don't have to get anything else. So that tool has been super helpful. So keep that in mind when you're um, thinking of like Christmas gifts or something for yourself. It has been really, really helpful. Like I honestly didn't think I needed it and I use it every day now. I've seen Chase use it, Savannah use it. So it really does get used more than you realize. Where you go? I follow. Let's go out and dance the night away. Going like one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Dance the night away. I am ready for that heartbreak. That's usually how it goes. I have done a billion. If you're wondering why all that hair is in my trash can, I don't know how many times I've ordered like the fake halo rings off Amazon and I tell myself I'm gonna use them and then I don't or I can't make them fit right or they don't set well and they do just feel cheaper. Like I need to order an actual nice one. Like you can get one with real hair. I've just always ordered the cheaper ones and they look cool, but I don't feel like they're nice enough to wear. So one day I need to just break down and buy a nicer version of them. If you have one, like totally send me the link if you love it. Um, so I know which one to order because it would be nice to like add fullness occasionally. Um, I just haven't found a good one that's worth spending the money over. Don't you wanna see what this could be? I am ready for that heartbreak. That's usually how it goes. I have done a billion mistakes before. Maybe I am going crazy. Say you feel the same now that we dancing. I'm taking my chances. I'm going like one, two, three, four. 
Okay, this little tool I'm gonna put on my toothpaste here in a second. I'm gonna link for you because they are game changers. If you're one of those people that you wanna get every last drop out of your product before you switch to a new one, this is going to be your best friend. Um, they come in all different colors, it's like a pack. So when you get one from you, you can get one for your husband or your kids or share it with some friends or whatever, but you can see I just slide it up and it just squeezes everything to the top and you literally get every ounce of product it doesn't have to be just for toothpaste maybe you have hand lotion or creams or stuff like that any type of product that that can slide into it's gonna work where you go i follow let's go out and dance the night away i am ready for the heartbreak that's usually how it goes i have done a billion mistakes before Another game changer for me are these clear bins. You can get whatever you can afford. So if you can go to Dollar Tree and get the white ones, they have different colors there. Um, I know Target has a white line that's super affordable. I feel like these clear ones from Walmart are just another great deal and I love that they're clear. I feel like it just keeps everything where it's supposed to. It keeps things from sliding around. You're not like mixing things. I don't know, it just makes them so aesthetic looking and it just keeps you happy and calm. I don't know why organization makes me calm and happy but it does and I think it does for anybody like when you open up a cabinet or a drawer and it's not stuffed or crammed or like falling at you and it's just nice and pretty you're just in a different mood so if you've never tried it just work on one space whatever that space is just work on one area and see what you think for the week see if you love it see if it matters but if you ask me it always matters and it just makes a big difference in your mood and just how you go through the day Maybe strike up close. You'll have to let me know down below if you guys want to see like an organizational home tour. I've done it in the last couple of houses and you guys seem to like it, but I also know like Christmas content starting soon. Um, so I have a few adjustments I can make if needed, but let me know. Like, do you want to see Christmas shopping? Like everything I'm buying to decorate with? Do you want to see more of like me going through my house and opening up like my cabinet doors and my drawers and stuff like that? Either way, I can make it all work, but I'm just curious which one you want to see more if you want to hold off on the organizational home tour until maybe January when like Christmas is done and we're getting our houses back in order. So just kind of let me know your thoughts down below. Now we're gonna head here into my laundry room and a lot of it's organized. Like a lot of this I had left over from our last house. I did do a few things where it's in clear bins, but still in Lazy Susan. So I can pull this whole thing out if I need to, or I can keep it here and spin it. So that's been super helpful. I know it's like doubling up on bins, but it's been very, very nice. This one I might go quickly, but at least I have a system. I'm sure I could declutter, so I'll probably do that. But first, I want to work on this cabinet because I feel like it's just my catch-all when I don't know what to do with something. I've just been shoving it underneath here. So let's figure this out. I'm sure a lot of this is just going to be decluttered. Get on down, get on down. 
So basically this cabinet became that space of where we didn't know where to put something and it wouldn't fit in a drawer. <laughs> we just like threw it in here because we knew we didn't want it out in the garage and we needed to get to it, but we hadn't decided if it had a home yet. So it felt so good to clear this space out. I've been wanting to do it for so long, but you know how you have those spaces like, you know you need to work on it, but you just don't have the motivation. When you finally get the motivation, just do it, and then it's gonna push you on to do other ones. So when you kinda just feel that itch to get something done, do it, get as much done as possible, and just ride that motivation out. I was able to clear that entire thing out. Either it went to a different home or I'm getting rid of it. So I have a whole free cabinet. Um, now, I have like a whole thing of mask. I just kept them up there. You just never know. So I thought a good place would be the medicine. I've never known where to put them and finally it clicked. Like, let's do it with the medicine. But now I'm just gonna go through it real quickly and see if I can like toss anything out of here. Come take my hand, I will walk with you. A tip I like to tell for beginners, like say you've never really decluttered or you don't know where to begin, just start with a Walmart sack and just pick up like trash. See if you can come up with like a Walmart sack full of trash. If you can do that, then move on to like another bag, Walmart size or whatever size you have. If you wanna do a garbage bag, do it. If you wanna do the Walmart sack or Target, you can do that. But then try to do like a bag's worth of donations or maybe you have like an Amazon box sitting in your garage. Tell your that you're gonna fill that up so maybe you don't have the motivation to get a whole room done but maybe you can just fill up a sack or maybe you can just fill up a box and if you'll just do that every day you're gonna see progress as well There are very few things I hoard in this house. Like I'm very less is more, we don't need it. I love decluttering. I love filling up my car and taking it to Goodwill. But there's something about blankets that I just love. They just make me happy and I love buying them. And then I store them in baskets everywhere. So I kind of collect baskets now just to put blankets in. But there's something about like office supplies. So when it comes to like pins and pencils and markers and Sharpies and sticky notes, like I have a sticky note every day for stuff that I have to get done. Those I have to really pare back on and I really have to catch myself like, okay, I don't need to buy anymore. And then when I was clearing out this drawer, I was like, I really need to test these and see if they're even working because I've been having these same pins since our first house so maybe it's time to see if they're like dried out so even just doing that I had pencils that didn't have any like lead in them I had pins that weren't working anymore I know it can be time consuming so let your kids do that even if you had toddlers I used to let Savannah do it when she was little and she felt so important that she got to help mommy and all she had to do was make sure the pins or markers worked so you can definitely get your family involved if you need to Okay, so now that we have that junk drawer finished, if you're in my area, a junk drawer is so normal. You'll have to let me know, like is it common in your area to have a junk drawer? So in my house we have two now because I need one by my laundry room because we'll come in from the garage and just do stuff on that side of the house. Plus I love having one in my kitchen because we're constantly like writing things down or hanging stuff up and I need extra tools and then my parents leave extra reading glasses over here. So I just felt like for convenience sake, it was nice having two in two different locations since I had the storage space. But you'll have to let me know, do you have a junk drawer and is it organized? like time is going faster than it seems we were just two kids who were trying to live the teenage dream we could see no reason but we should ever try to go to sleep
Next up, I want to tackle my nightstand drawers. Um, you can see there's like socks in there, a heating pad. I don't think I have a ton in there. I just want to get it more in like bins so it makes sense, especially the top one. So I'm going to work on that next. Never growing up, said we'd be on forever. You taught me how to love, and nothing could be better than you and me, you and me, baby. It was you and me. You know, you're getting old when you have like a heating pad in your nightstand, and I have like ibuprofen. If you guys saw that medicine, I have like chapstick, Kleenexes. I don't know. I just feel like I'm getting so old when I actually see like the items that I keep in my nightstand now. Uh -oh. I was honestly shocked how many scrunchies I got rid of between like drawers and junk drawers and my bathroom because I never pull my hair up with a scrunchie. So I honestly don't know why I had so many and I've done so many declutters. I was finally like, what am I doing? I have to get rid of this. So sometimes it takes a little while to figure stuff out. But now we're in my guest bedroom and we're inside the guest closet. I'm trying to work on it because I have my sister and brother-in-law and nieces coming into town and sometimes our guest bedroom closets can be another catch-all you just kind of like throw stuff in there so I'm trying to figure out like how many extra pillows do I need how many blankets do I need if you notice that like pole fell on the ground and it sounded so loud Chase came in there he thought I had fallen off the stool so he was in there checking on me and then it helped me finish up There's something with pillows too. I think of myself as like a minimalist and I don't have a lot of stuff. And then as we're like decluttering, I'm like, I do have a lot of blankets and I do have some makeup and I do have a lot of pillows, but basically pillows are hard for us. I feel like we're constantly buying them, trying to find the right ones. And then pillows can be expensive and I like having extra ones. So like Christmas time comes and everyone's staying at my house. I wanna know if they don't bring their own pillow, I have extra. So that means like all year long, I'm storing extra pillows I don't need, but I wanna know when I'm hosting, I have them. So I feel like sometimes that's what a guest bedroom closet is. Maybe I don't use it every day, but I wanna know when I'm hosting, I have everything I need. So we have tons of like pillowcases and extra sheets and you know, old comforters. But I also love having that. So when my company's here, if they need it, or if we need to make a pallet for kids or something like that we have whatever we need to allow a lot of people to stay overnight in our house Now I'm working on my extra home decor. So basically I bought a ton of home decor when we were building this house. And when I was first decorating, I had some leftover and I do love to keep like either a closet or a cabinet, something like that with overflow home decor that I love. So I may not need it right now, but I know I'm gonna want it again in the future. I don't wanna have to rebuy it. Um, but some of the stuff I had bought and then I just have too much of, and I wanted to give it time because we had just moved in, but now I'm starting to figure out like what I really do want or need and what I don't. And so I'm just trying to get rid of all the fluff, but I always have extra home decor. So when I get that, it's just switch. I have things on hand. I've got my like giveaway donation pile right there, but this is another spot I want to work on. Chase has slowly been um, rearranging this because he's trying to get his fall down and his summer up. So you can see his shirts are here but he left a big gap. So I wanna like space these out, which I may need his help. I think even on a ladder, <laughs> I'm gonna be too short. So I'll have him do that. And then I cleared some stuff out down here. So I think his shirts may be able to come down because sometimes you still wear those underneath sweatshirts and stuff or like the ones he might wear. So I think we're gonna work on this just for a little bit. I think we can just tweak it a little bit and make it better. Pray your chains and give you time. 
I want you to see the difference that this makes. So he had all of his shirts crammed onto like one rod right there. So they really couldn't breathe. He couldn't see what he had. If you have the space, stretch them out, like give them space, give them room to breathe. If you don't have that, it's probably time to declutter unless you wear those every single day. And if your closet's packed, you probably don't. Now I get in some older homes are really small and so they just have to be. But if you have the space, go ahead and use it, spread it out. It looks so much better. Now I'm gonna work on his bottom section. Like I said, we're kind of flipping this over for fall. I don't really have to change much on mine because mine's all like eye level where I can reach it. But another tip is to to declutter, declutter, declutter. Chase has a hard time with that, but use all matching hangers. It's gonna look so much nicer and so much neater. Just every time you go to Walmart, just buy one pack or like buy it from Amazon, ask for Christmas. Um, and then always color code your clothes. Now you can do it in sections. I like to break it down in categories. Like we have like short sleeve t-shirts and pants and hoodies and then jackets, but I color code within those sections and it looks so much better. But then when you're looking for say a black top, you can just go to the black section or maybe you need a white shirt, you can go to the white section. Plus, like I said, it just looks way better and I'll show you some after clips here in a second. Now we're gonna head over to my side of the closet and I declutter often. Like I probably put something in our donation pile every single week. Um, I'm really good at just like letting go with stuff like that. Um, but in other areas, I'm not just like my blankets. Like every time I go through my blankets, I'm like, I can't, I just need them. When people come over, I want them to feel warm and have a blanket. Um, Chase is like that with his clothes. He's like, I might need it one day in 20 years and he'll have it to wear. So you just kind of have to go with what feels best. But if you're not wearing something and you haven't wore it in several years, you're probably not going to need it. So it feels better to let it go. It feels better just to have like enough clothes that fit in your closet, give them space face, make it look super pretty. And most of the time you have plenty of clothes to get through the week before you do a load of laundry. I'm just guilty of just wearing like the same thing every single week. So like still 75% of this closet doesn't get touched because I just wear the same thing over and over. I call it my uniform and it works just fine. But now I'm going to go ahead and show you the pile here of everything we decluttered. Um, there's more. I didn't show it all. And I didn't show any of like the stuff that just got trashed. But here's a look of just like going through my house everything i came up with Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope this gave you motivation. I hope you get up right now and go declutter one drawer, one cabinet. Even if you just spend 20 minutes working on something, go get it done and you're gonna feel so much better. But I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.